Gobble, gobble, it's turkey time. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So we are gonna take you through pressure frying a whole turkey today uh, in our Broaster Pressure Fryers. Today we are gonna use our latest and greatest, our 18E, the E-Series Fryer. Uh, for more information on that, you can check out uh, broaster.com and go to a short webinar on uh, the features of that fryer. Uh, getting into it here, we've got our turkey, just about uh, 14, 14 and a half pounds, somewhere in there. Uh, we've marinated it overnight in our uh, Chikite Supreme marinade. You can also use our hot marinade, zesty marinade, and, or our good old fashioned uh, Chikite marinade as well. When you're selecting turkey, make sure that you don't get a turkey that has too much of a saline solution pumped in there. That means it's already full of salt and by marinating you will add more. Um, this one had less than 5% uh, when we started. I have removed the neck and other parts from the inside and we are gonna take you through. So this has been marinated, like I said, overnight in our Supreme Marinade. And uh, for a coating today, I'm gonna use our Brosserie Marinade. Again, you could certainly use any one of our coatings uh, from uh, extra season to slow bro, slow bro, extra spicy, magic coating, uh, really quite a few coatings there uh, that you can use as well. So like I said, today we're gonna use our broastery coating. It's got a flavor similar to like rotisserie chicken, or like a rotisserie chicken flavor. So I wanted to uh, do that with uh, turkey and I think it really pairs well with the uh, Supreme marinade. So we are going to lightly, in here now this is not like your slow bro where you need to have a full coating on every inch it's more of works good just kind of like the seasoning as well don't forget to do both sides don't forget your beans I like to make sure I get in all my little nooks and crannies here to add even more flavor to this awesome bird. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let this uh, set up for about 45 minutes. All right, we're back our marinated and coated chicken in our grocery has been sitting for about 45 minutes as you can see here the uh the coating has kind of uh taken on some of the the liquids uh that remained on the turkey and have softened up and it's a little bit tacky just like we want so we're going to get this loaded into the fire um, one important thing that you want to do is dip your basket in oil before you uh load the turkey that's what I did here. Again, we're cooking on our E-Series pressure fryer today. Um, we're gonna do this uh, turkey at 340 degrees for about 42 minutes, which is approximately three minutes per pound. So we load that bad boy in there like that. gonna go slowly. Again, make sure your turkey is fully thawed. Agitate it just a little bit. All right. You can see the unit starting to build pressure and away we go. We do have our auto comp feature on which will adjust the cooking time. Uh, accordingly based on how much the uh, oil temperature drops. So we've got this down and uh, we'll be back here uh, in about 41 minutes and 40 seconds. Timer's off, we're gonna agitate it a little bit here. Pull this bad boy out. Oh man, it smells so good. All right, turkey is done. All right, turkey is done. You can see we've got some plates set up here. turkey is 
super duper hot still. So, what I mean, I just, you can see how juicy it is. I always like to make sure that I get a piece that has some of the, the skin that we seasoned off on there. I'm gonna give it one more slice. I feel like the guest eating this today is pretty hungry. All right. Get a little, just a little bit of gravy. We're good. All right, your basic traditional Thanksgiving meal, mashed potatoes, gravy, stuffing, pressure fried turkey and green beans. Next up, we're gonna do a little something a little bit fun here. We're gonna make a, a turkey sandwich. So I got a nice toasted Kaiser roll here. Gonna start by putting just a little bit of gravy on the bottom. This is a great place, great time to use some of your dark meat. Um, I like to hand pull it and use this for a sandwich here. As you can probably see on camera here, it's still piping hot. Right. Put some turkey there. Just a little bit here. Put on top. Drizzle it with just a little bit more gravy. And what really sets this sandwich off is some fresh cranberry sauce. Just a little bit right on top. And again, you can serve this open face or with a, another side of uh, shoes. And there you go. Two wonderful options that you can use for your pressure fried turkey, traditional meal, and also your Thanksgiving sandwich. I know that's good.